the grip feels better and there isn't torque steer anymore. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2020 Buick Encore in the GX trim package. And this is actually a really cool, like sporty little SUV. But that being said, a huge shout out and thank you to National Buick slash GMC here in American Fork, Utah for providing us with this Encore. Check out their inventory in the link below. Let's get right into it. So under the hood of the Encore GX, we have a turbocharged 1.3 liter four cylinder that goes through a nine speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 26 around town and then 29 on the highway with power outputs being 155 horsepower and then 174 pound feet of torque and a zero to 60 time in the mid seven second range. Now let's go over the front end on the Encore GX. So first off, this one has the LED lights, which I think this is definitely a package you should get on the Encore regardless. You get the little LED accent light and then the projector bulb as well. And then notice you've got all the red accenting all across the grill and then down below. That's one of the ways that you can tell that this is a GX compared to just a regular Encore. Fog light just right there in that little area, but that is pretty much everything for the front end. Now around the side here, we've got two 25 millimeter tires on 18 inch rims in the front and in the rear. And you can see one of the little parking sensors hiding there, but the fender flares are body painted. So they are a little bit hidden. And then here on the side, it pretty much looks identical to like any other Encore. So that's the side. So here is the key fob for the Encore GX. You have a couple functions here. You see you've got the unlock at the top. You've got the Buick logo there in the center, which is actually the lock. And then that's the release for the hatch and then a remote start. So you do have to lock it and then you just hold down the little remote start function and then that's what will start it up and you'll be able to well slightly hear that 1.3 liter come to life and then just like all the other chevys if you just kind of press it again then it'll shut the whole system right off and i said chevy but i meant buick well all brand jokes aside all you have to do is just press that button twice and then that's what will open up the rear hatch so you guys got to remember this is an suv even though it looks crazy and sporty so you still get a nice little cargo cover here in the rear and then underneath here you actually have a little tire compartment which is pretty neat and in terms of the storage space in general this is a really small size suv but the hatch area here in the back is actually a really decent size and then when you are done the button to close it is just right up there at the top. Let's finish things up in the rear with the design elements for the back. So first off, the taillights, I think it's really cool. They kind of have like a side check mark for the LED part of the taillight. And then you've got a ton of badging back here. And then you got more of those red elements and then like a little rear diffuser on the SUV. Now those are fake. The exhaust tip is actually underneath the SUV, but parking sensors all along the back as well. And this definitely has kind of like a sporty like hatchback look from the rear. Now coming here to the back, you actually do get Kia Sentry for the rear and also for the front, but we'll go over the front in a moment. So coming here to the rear, you've got all this soft touch right here with the white contrasted stitching. And then here are the seats in the back. So they have this really cool like design with the perforations itself. Hopefully that's coming through under the camera, but you've got more of that white stitching that goes all along and then it is pretty soft to the touch. Now there are a couple of cup holders back here and then just down below here at the bottom, notice that you got a little kind of like charging area. In terms of legroom, again, this is a smaller size SUV, so it's gonna be a little bit smaller on the legroom side of things, but headroom is actually really solid. We do have that same keyless entry here in the front, and then there is blind spot monitoring for the mirrors. And coming to the door panel here at the front, design is pretty similar to what's in the back. The memory seats are on the side of the door here. And then you got all of your regular window controls. And then this is for the hatch. So notice that you can kind of open it at different regions, which is a pretty cool, nice little touch. Now, the seats at the front, same material as the seats in the back. You notice that the bolsters are a little bit on the light side. So you definitely, even if you kind of have like a bigger back or something like that, you could fit in these seats very comfortably. And then you've got the adjustments on the side of the seats. Got a little pedal layout down below and then that's the release for the hood light controls right there and there's your little steering wheel adjustment but let's pop in now starting with the gx we just have to press the push button start and then the gauges will do a sweep this will all pop on and hopefully the radio doesn't pop on and you get your little heads up display and we got to turn that uh, fan speed down by quite a bit so here's our steering wheel in the GX. So notice that you've got the smooth leather all the way around and then you got the stitching in the center part. You do have that heated function on the steering wheel. So over here, you have the controls for the collision assistance, the cruise control as well. On the other side, you got your voice command controls and the controls for the little center stack. And then you've got the little thing for the turn signal. And then on the other side, you've got the windshield wiper stock. Here in the center, you've got the RPMs over on the left side. On the right side, you've got the speed. And then there's a couple different menus that you can kind of scroll through, just give you different bits of information 
on the Buick Encore. Pretty simple. You guys can see all the stuff. You can go through navigation, phone, all that kind of stuff. If you ever see my reviews on the Chevys or the GMCs, you'll notice that this is identical. So here at the infotainment system, I want to show you guys the backup camera aspect of it first, which the camera system on this is really good. So notice that that part's blacked out because I have the door open. I left the door open so you guys can kind of see just how the camera system actually works. But you've got the 360 view. Notice that if I close the door, then that part of the picture is stitched back, open up the door, and then it is blacked out. Now with the rest of the camera system, there is just so many different views that you can go through. It's a full 360 camera system pretty much. It shows you just every aspect on the vehicle so parking this it's really small but on top of that you can see everything around you now with the rest of the infotainment system i actually really like this infotainment system now this is shared with gmc and chevy as well the response time on it i mean everything happens pretty much instantaneously you've got apple carplay and android auto as well now the screen isn't massive like some other vehicles kind of are coming out with but i just i think it's like the perfect size and the functionality i mean like again just boom happens right away and you got your little uh my buick now down in this area these are the analog controls for the radio and the climate controls you do have a dual zone climate for the front you do get heated seats and then just down below that you've got a little auxiliary and then a couple of usbs and then a actual 12 volts as well wireless phone charging here in the encore 2. Now this is kind of like the whole center console area. We're gonna start up here at the top. So notice that you've got the button for the parking sensors. That basically is to turn them on or off. You've got your stability control right next to that. That's your lane keep assist. And then this is for the all wheel drive function. And then you've got your auto stop start if you don't like that. Here's the shifter for that nine speed automatic. Really easy to use. And you've got the low gearing on top of that. That is your little parking brake right there in that area. You got some extra storage here. This is the center console and notice that if you lift it up, you've got this little storage tray at the top, but you can pick that out. And then there's some more storage just underneath that as well. Really easy to use. And then finally, we do have the glove box right here, which I mean, I feel like it's a normal size glove box for how small this is. And then notice you do get the soft touch at the top and then more up here as well. Now up top here, you've got the universal garage door openers and then this sunroof, I'm gonna call it a panoramic. Now it is a little bit on the small side, but this is a small SUV, so I feel like it's just, it's a panoramic for this car. So uh, yeah. So here is the window sticker for this Encore GX Essence with all wheel drive. So you guys can freeze a frame if you guys want to just read every single detail. But here are the options that this particular one has. And then with all that being said, there is your total price, $37,315. Let's take this Encore out and see how it drives. So let's talk about visibility before we set off in the Encore and I wanted to talk about the heads up display in this part so you guys can see what it actually looks like from point of view perspective. So there's your heads up display. It's part of this little like glass thing right there at the top. But I mean, that's pretty much what it looks like when you're in the driving position. But the hood just slopes down really abruptly. And then you got the visibility through both of your mirrors. And then throughout the rear, the visibility is actually a lot better than I expected, this being a smaller size SUV. Now there is that blind spot in that corner, but remember it does have the blind spot monitoring. And that all being said, let's set off. I'm setting off here in the 2020 Encore GX. And the reason I wanted to review this is I thought this was just such an interesting, weird little SUV and I haven't really seen many people just review this in general. So I thought it'd be a fun vehicle to review because it's just, it's just weird and different. <laughs> and initially setting off here, it's actually um, relatively quiet with just the sound that comes through into the cabin. And then in terms of the ride quality, it's really smooth. So Vuke is supposed to be kind of like sort of like a luxury brand but not quite right cadillac is the one that kind of takes that up and this definitely does feel like it's more on the luxury side and we're gonna get a little acceleration here i mean you guys heard the power figures in the zero to 60 time it's not crazy quick or anything like that but i mean it gets the job done now the next thing is the steering so the steering on this 
super light. It doesn't feel like any more direct. You definitely do feel some torque steer for sure. Um, right now I'm in the front wheel drive mode. If I put it in all wheel drive, let's see what that feels like. So I've got it in the all wheel drive mode and the torque steer actually goes away. So when you put it into the all wheel drive mode, you don't get the torque steer anymore. It's actually a pretty good system. I mean, it switches really quickly actually, and you can do it while you are driving. You know, you don't want to do it at super high speeds, but you can do it while moving. And yeah, that's that's like such a crazy change. I'll get another little acceleration for you guys so you guys can kind of see, or at least I can tell you <laughs> how it kind of feels turning and then going. Yeah, the grip feels better and there isn't torque steer anymore. So the all-wheel drive, definitely super solid. And then you can just pop it off and it's just, it's like a truck. It's so cool. Um, but with the rest of this, where I really think this stands. So $37,000 and this is kind of more like upscale, kind of more like on the luxury side of things. SUV, you get all-wheel drive capability. You get something that's a little bit sportier. I think this is really cool actually. I, I think this is interesting. I definitely think that it's, it's just unique. It's one of those unique cars and maybe it's not gonna be something that Buick sells in huge volume numbers, but it's still like, it's one of those cars that you could buy and really no one else would have one. Like you'd be the only person with the GX Encore if you were just driving around in one. So yeah, I just, I think it's a cool, like weird kind of interesting, SUV now it would be cool if they would have put a little bit more power in it so that it was a little bit more like performance-esque because right now it had like looks like sporty but then it's not super sporty if that makes sense so that's my only thing with the Encore GX is I wish that they do at least a little bit more power but other than that it's it's different <laughs> but it's cool. That is gonna sum things up for our video on the 2020 Buick Encore in the GX trim package. And the lighting right now is like perfect for this paint color. Just looks really good for that angle. But that all being said, again, a huge shout out and thank you to National GMC for providing us with this Buick Encore. Check out their inventory in the link below. I'll see all of you in the next video.